Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager. Back with Connor Key. Uh, we're in the uh, the Conference League. Uh, and we're going to play quite a lot of games this season. Depending on how the Conference League goes, we may look to jump ship. Our goal was to get Connor Key into Europe. We've done that. Admittedly, the, the, the lowly Conference League competition. But it doesn't really matter, right? That's, that's what we're doing. Um... I haven't played for a while, so it's going to take me a little while just to get back into what our first choice team and all the rest of those things, but let's start the press conferences. Can we have your thoughts on the Europa League draw? I don't know who Pogon are. Who are Pogon? Uh, that hasn't helped me at all. Who are they? They have one, one PKO, Bank, Polski, X, well, they've won the Polish first division, second division, first division again, North. Um, okay, so they've won a few competitions, fine, but we've got a, an, an illustrious history, right? Um, so they might be on a similar sort of level to us. We haven't looked at their players, to be fair. Um, we don't know if any of them are worth any money, okay? Um, but um, from our point of view, they've got 19 million in the bank, so they're probably a bit better than us considering we've got three. Um, then we've got Braga, who I do know, and we've got CSK Sophia, which I also know. Um, can we have your thoughts? I think we are in a great chance. Uh, looking forward to it. Are we against some good teams? But you certainly fancy our chances. I'm sure there are easier draws, but certainly not to get going to shy away from a challenge. Putting it on record, where do you think you'll finish? Uh, it's too early to discuss that. Leighton Stewart has had a fine start to his Connor Key career and notching up an impressive three goals in six appearances, this must presumably make you delighted. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm, you know, it's better than not. Uh, what's the latest on Beck's injury? Uh, I don't know. What is the latest on his injury? Torn knee ligaments is out forever. <laughs> three, three months. Um, obviously, he's going to be out for a while, but I'm optimistic he'll recover well and in good time. Given the large turnover in your squad over the last couple of seasons, do you feel you've earned reputation as manager always looking to deal? Um, it's part of football part of being a football manager yeah uh it's not it's been noted that you've signed a number of young players this is a conscious effort um you're responsive i was thinking about if i wasn't thinking about the future Connor Key are the sole welsh, welsh representative in the competition this season do you think it's possible for your team to win it for welsh football Welsh football isn't the biggest but we've got a strong team and uh, it's probably unrealistic to expect that uh, but don't count us out Nathan Moore's recent arrival seems to have had a positive impact on the squad. Uh, he's the type of personality that people gravitate towards. Uh, the draw for the Conference League has been tough. I'm actually on side against Braga and Sofia and Pogon Sejinshin. <laughs> is, uh, is that an assessment? I'm quite pleased, actually. Yes, I agree, it's tough. Uh, we're going to have to play very well. It's fair to say that Braga are your toughest opponents. Uh... They're all very good as well. What's the state of your relationship? We don't always see eye to eye. Um, there's been a large swell of support from the fans for your attacking intent. Uh, I certainly hope so. Strike a balance. Okay, that went well, right? See? Perfect. Um, okay, good. Let's hit continue then. And I think we've got a, a match in three days. Let's just go and have a little look at our squad. Um because I, I just need to familiarise myself with it. Uh, we are playing our normal, um, our old formation, Fletcher, and Brynjarsson, Brynjarsson, um, 18 years old, not not setting the world alike, but three goals in the cup, uh, one goal in the league. Uh, it looks like he could be all right. I mean, got a lot of potential, they think, but they also say that Owen Beck would be better playing there. Are you actually also a left back? No? Okay. Um, yeah, we. I think we're all right, right? We've got Bedek. I still think we should maybe have, have moved Bedek to the wings, but that didn't quite happen in the players we were looking for. So we've still got that chance. We can still still take a bit of a gamble and push him out, out wide. Um, but we'll keep him up top. He's not the most natural of goal scorers, is all I would say. Um, but, you know, we'll keep him up there for now. Okay. Carmarthen Tawan uh, is up next. Uh, and then we've got international duties, which isn't great because our one player is going to go. Okay. Um, 
let's keep going. We're almost there. Uh, so Brynjarsson is away for the next two games at very least. Um, so we'll have to see how we get on. And I think this is TNS, I would imagine. They have won all of their games so far, um, which is a bit a bit rough for us. We're playing catch-up. We're two games behind. I mean, admittedly, we've won our first three, but we're two games behind. It's never nice when there's a big gap between you and the team that, that are top. Um, let's see how we let's see how we go. Okay, we are almost there, I promise. Uh, and then the transfer window closes on the 2nd of September. Let's just have a little look here at some of these players. I think we're okay. Let's just have a think about if we go to um, squad depth. Our goalkeeper isn't great. One of our centre-halves isn't fantastic. Um, and we're actually... No, we want to play with deck in the middle of the park down here. Um, okay, well, so I think if we we're going to strengthen anywhere, and I think we knew this anyway, it's goalkeeper really. I think we have strengthened our goalkeeper, but not significantly. Um, and uh, we'll see if we'll see if that comes to bite us in the backside. Uh, but yeah, looking around, we couldn't find someone who who really jumped out at us. So we. Uh, we uh, we brought someone in who was just a slight improvement, which you know, maybe maybe rightly or wrongly. Um, okay, Carmarthen Town away, and then Cumbrian and Cladac. That nah, can't Clydec. That can't be right. Uh, they are uh, they are away as well. So two away games coming up, along with a transfer window in the middle of it. I don't think we're doing any more business from memory, unless something really jumps out at us, but. I think we might be over our wage budget from memory. Um, I'll have to have a check of that, but this is taking a very long time to progress, right? Uh, we get to register our squad here as well. It's a bit annoying a day before the uh, the transfer window closes. Thanks for that. I'm guessing that means for the first leg, your first game, you can't play the first, yeah, for the first tie, you can't play any registered new players that you signed. Maybe. Who knows? Why is this taking forever? There we go. Um, okay. We need a win. We do need a win. We should go and have a little look at our transfers and see if we've got anything going on. As I say, it's been it's been quite a while since I played. I, I recorded quite a lot into the future. Um, so so I could have a little bit of a break from it. I was coming a little bit jaded. Um, Prostatin made an offer on loan for Francis Kamga. What are you currently doing? You're playing for the under 19s. Uh, you're paying, uh, you know, do we accept it? Do we accept it? You need you need game time, right? Um, important player attacking midfielder right. Can play in club, man club matches, can be recalled. You know what? Fine. There you go. We'll accept it. We'll see if he goes. Like, you know, any game time is better than none, right? And hopefully, any second now, we should actually get into a game. I wonder if we're going to have any sound. I doubt it. Last time we played, just couldn't get the sound to work at all. Oh, come on. I know we've got quite a lot of leagues selected, but this is ridiculous. Seems to have got slower. Certainly slower than what I remember. I guess we are in that early phase of the season. It's always pretty busy with transfers and stuff, right? Uh, you know, in transfer coming up to transfer deadline day, I assume there's there's more things happening than not. But this is insane. Real Madrid twenty one swoop for Demarco. Met Uni's Ford in talk with Derby. Interesting. I should pay more attention to these things, right? Get an eye on the news. See who's being linked with bigger clubs and then try and swoop swoop in for them. Uh, Kim Flanagan has rocked Bradford City with a request for a transfer. I'm guessing we were eyeing you up. I don't think we'd uh, necessarily be interested in signing you now. Players over the age of 24 are less likely to see dramatic improvements in their attributes through training or natural progression. 
So I'm guessing when you get to 24, the only way to really improve is to be playing, right? Um, which is interesting because, as always, the debate is, do we loan out our young players and they go to worse clubs playing at a lower level with worse training facilities and possibly worse coaches? Or do we, not that our coaches are great, or do we uh, keep them around and then and then you've got players that can that can develop in the in the youth teams and in the odd cup game, etc. Okay, let's have a little look here. So Freighter's back in. Raymond and Fletcher are on the wings. Badek is in. Stewart is over here, old Leighton Stewart. Um, okay, I think this is it. I think we just go. All right, O'Reilly is wanted by Colchester. Any other players wanted? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, hold on. You're wanted on loan by Halifax. Well, he's playing for us, so tough. Let's just get into it. Let's let's see if this warms us back up into uh, what was happening with our choice of choice of team and the way we're playing. Um, I want you to pick up where you left off last time. Don't remember where that was, but no sound. We are off. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. 10 minutes in, we've had a lot of possession and shots, none of them really causing any danger. I expected goal 0 0.72 after seven shots. That's not fantastic, I don't think. It feels like we're having a lot of shots without really creating any any good chances. Here we come to take the corner. O'Reilly with it. Freighter is there. Freighter scores. First goal of the season for Liam Freighter. Completely unmarked header arriving from the O'Reilly corner. Where was the where was the defender picking him up? Just let him run straight off him. Headers it into that uh, into that far corner. Get in, boys. Freya gets Piano with the corner. Denham this time heads in. Uh, what's his name? Cipriano. 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 I don't know. Um, Denham. Pops up at the near post with the header. Denham is uh, is quite a small centre half from the looks of things. There's Collins. Alunga back to Collins. Ball to Raymond. He is bursting into the box. He's the only one though. There's Bedeck. Gets to the byline, cuts it back. Fletcher is there. It's another one. Eighth goal of the season for Fletcher. And it's 3-0 after 34 minutes. A very quiet 25 minutes and then we've burst into life. Bedeck picks it up, beats his man in the box, cuts back, crosses it. Defender misses the header and Fletcher's there to nod it home. And there goes Fletcher again. Out to Moore. Moore gets it back to Fletcher. Fletcher turns... Hammered away. Alunga with the header. Collins drills it out to Moore. Cabriano into Fletcher. Fletcher's in. Fletcher scored again. That was incredible chest control. Did you see that? Did you see that? It was second to none chest control. It was like messy. How did he do that? He let it drop over his shoulder and took it on his chest instantly. That's insane. That's... Almost, I would suggest, physically impossible. But, 4 hill. Okay, here they come. Come Marvin. It would be nice to keep a clean sheet. Well done, Tompkins. Made sure of that. I like it. He's taking his time. Rolling it out to Denham. To Moore, down the line to Fletcher, who has been booked. Back to Moore. Cipriano to Moore again. Long ball over the top. Bedeck is there. On the chest control. Fletcher into O'Reilly. O'Reilly's in. Saved by the keeper. Flag does go up. I wonder if Bedeck had been onside. Okay. They haven't had a single shot yet. Uh, I'm very happy. I think I'm going to make some changes, but we'll do it very early in the second half. I want to get these booked players off. Also want to give Leighton Stewart a run out. 
There's Denham. It's a freighter. Out to Cipriano to Moore. Fletcher on the wing again. Cipriano. Moore once again. Denham brings the ball over the halfway line to Fletcher. There's Bedeck. Ball into O'Reilly. Shoots from long range. Drilled at the keeper. Good save. I want to make some changes, but it has literally only been a minute. Seems a lot longer. Denham is there with a the header. Bedeck couldn't follow it up. Oh, and they've got a corner. Here we go. And we've given away a penalty instantly. Good work, boys. Good work. What were you doing? Why? Why were you doing it? Armand with a tidy, tidy penalty. Right in that bottom corner. You're not saving that, especially when you dive the wrong way. Well. Here they come with a goal kick. Denham wins the header, but only heads it down to, to Reese. But Raymond is there to pick it up. And here comes Lunga to Freighter, to Cipriano, Freighter to Fletcher. O'Reilly looks for Bedeck. Bedeck is not going to get there. He somewhat bottled it, I think. I think there was a chance he could have got there. O'Reilly's in. O'Reilly gets to the byline. O'Reilly wins the penalty. And I think our man Fletcher is going to take it. He's on a hat-trick. And he gets his hat-trick. Nice. And he's about to be substituted. Okay, let's uh, let's take you off for you. Let's take you off for you. Oh, what, what player do we bring on? I mean, you can play there. I genuinely don't know. You know what? Let's give uh, let's give Clarkson a run out. Why not? We'll get them off pitch. I don't want them to be sent off. We need them, and it'd be nice to have them fresh for the next game and potentially the Europa League game. Sorry, the Europa Conference League game. Let's get it right. Um, there's Bedeck. Has the ball snatched off his toes. Now we can make our changes. O'Reilly. Out to Collins. Collins checks back and finds Elunga. Denham bringing the ball forward. There's O'Reilly again. Finds Raymond. Looks for O'Reilly. O'Reilly shugs off the defender. Shugs? Shrugs off the defender. Clarkson was there, he couldn't get the couldn't get in front of the defender, managed to get something on it, I think, but defender with the block. O'Reilly with the corner. Headed clear. Alunga is chasing it. He's done well. There's Denham. He's not going to shoot from there, is he? No, but Cipriano might. O'Reilly. Ooh. Have we got any other changes we want to make? Not quite yet, I don't think, but we're getting close. Seventieth minute. Okay, we'll make we'll make another change. How about you coming on? Um, for you, why not? Okay. Last couple of minutes, a five-one win. We didn't keep the clean sheet, but five-one win. Is very nice. Um, that was a good win. Well done, lads. Beautiful. We'll uh, we'll see what the media say, and then we'll put a cut in and be back for the next episode, or for the next half of this episode, even. Oh, it's taking a very long time. Might have to reboot the old PC. Um, okay. Also, I don't know if I've still got Football Manager on an SSD. So uh, we'll have a look at that between episodes. Um, right, we'll put a cut in. We'll be back with the next with the next episode where we're up against Cumbrian and someone else. Oh, no. Two to three days. That's not the end of the world. Heads up about Roberts. I'm just letting you know that Matthias Roberts didn't seem himself at the minute. Um, ask Bedeck. Yeah. 
Could you try and I'm willing to give it a go. Let's see how that went. Unable to resolve the issues. Okay, well, we'll put a cut here. I'll deal with those off camera and then we'll be back for the next game. Thanks for watching. See you in a second. Okay, we are back. We've been forced into some changes. Uh, Cipriano is injured, so we've been forced into bringing in um, Bedeck into midfield. I do wonder if we're meant to swap these two around just because of the role. Maybe that's the right approach. Drift wide and operate into 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 half spaces. That feels like a uh, Bedeck role, right? I'll just put uh, Fitzpatrick in. Just for now, we've got a couple of people on trial. They're not going to be making it, but as you can see, we've not got we've not got many players that we can actually play based on uh, based on this. Um, I think the rest of us are okay to go, right? I don't think there's any other changes we would make. Uh, big news: we have um, we have TNS next time out. So I think we'll after this episode we'll switch back to doing just the big games. Um, but uh, we'll see how that TNS game goes next episode because that could be huge and I suspect our Conference League game is fastly approaching as well. Fastly? Quickly. Uh, if you carry on a performance uh, last time you'll do well. Uh, let's see how we go. It'll be interesting to see how Bedeck does in the middle of the park. We've been toying with the idea of dropping him back. My my vision would be dropping back into the into the gap sort of between midfield and the striker but we've dropped him back even, even deeper. Let's see how we performs here he is popping up in the middle of the middle of the park he possibly had a chance to shoot he didn't found Fletcher though we're passing it passing it around without really making any progress Noble finds a Lunga doesn't find a Lunga and uh, Denham's gonna have to clear that up which he does there's Noble out to Freighter O'Reilly long ball out to Collins Collins gets the cross in Fletcher's there at the back post Looking for a penalty, I think. There's O'Reilly, tidy little finish. He probably deserved a goal last time out. Uh, probably deserved a goal last time out. Didn't get it, but popped up. Tidy finish into that bottom corner. Fletcher did very well. Thought he was looking for the pen, but uh, O'Reilly strikes that into the bottom corner. Noble's defensive header was not a good one. I'm not going to lie, straight down to their midfielder, but we have made them play all the way backwards. Long ball down the field. Noble is there this time. There's Fletcher. There's Bedeck. He's in that half space. He said he would be. He is. He's placed it well wide. But that's kind of where we want to see him, in those little pockets just inside the wings, uh, between midfield and midfield and, and defence. That would be nice to see. Their, their midfield and defence, obviously not ours. Um, there's Stewart. Stewart is in. Stewart has not finished. We need a second goal here, boys. Obviously want to make our, uh, our lead more solid going into this. There's Bedeck. Fires it across. There's Fletcher at the back post. Bedeck with an, with an assist. And Fletcher with another goal. He's on fire at the moment. There he is, rising at the back post, beating the defender. Good cross, good header. 2 0 up. Badak with the corner. Denham with the header. It's three after 30 minutes. Denham, have all of our goals? No, O'Reilly's was a, t a tidy finish. I wonder if all our goals were were headers, but uh, just the two of them so far. But we do look we do look pretty dominant from from crosses. There's Stewart out to Noble. Noble looks for Collins. It's not a great ball. Pressure put on the goalkeeper. He's made an error. There's Fletcher. Fletcher's finished. It's another goal. Twelfth goal of the season for Fletcher. Oh dear, oh dear. What were they thinking? It was Rawlins with the ball back, but the keeper has to do better here. Straight down to Stewart. Chests it into the path of Fletcher. And 
Fletcher with a tidy finish into that far corner. Half an hour gone, it's 4 0. Let's do it. Plays it all the way back to Alunga. There's our three men. We keep them we keep them back just in case. Alunga and Badak playing the ball between each other. There's Freighter. Out to Denham. There's Noble. Finds Badak. All the way back to Alunga. And then a long ball towards Stewart. He's not going to get there. But Badak is going to bring that down. And you expect him to find some space and make a oh my lord. He was offside. I was going to say you'd expect him to find some space and make a pass, and he does. Fletcher straight offside. Clark is Clark is buying some time with the ball back there. There's Bedeck, there's Stewart. Stewart to Fletcher. Fletcher is in. He's in towards the edge of the or towards the byline. O'Reilly smashes it home. Fifth goal of the season for O'Reilly. Colchester have got one day to get their signing of him over the over the line and we don't really want to sell him. Stuart does well again. Fletcher, I thought he was going to go towards goal. He doesn't. He gets to the byline, cuts back in and pulls it back to O'Reilly who smashes it home. Driven finish into that far corner just before half time. It's 5-0. Oh, we've got another chance. Bedeck into Denham. Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, he was offside. Okay, well that was... Uh, that was impressive, boys. Let's let's keep going. No one's got any bookings. Oh, um, let's just have a look on energy. We can we can make some changes in here as well. I think. Oh, long ball over the top that Alunga doesn't read. Hanford is in, blazes it over the bar. Let's make some changes here. Let's um. I don't really have a right back. Let's bring you on for it. Or oh, left back, sorry. Let's bring you on. Um, Harrington, you can stay there. Freighter, let's make that change. And then I think Collins, we're going to have to make a change. For Edmund? Why not? I don't like making all three changes here, but that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Out to Collins. Down to Alunga. To Badak. Captain Badak. Here he is again, to able to turn and face towards the goal. Fletcher's in. Fletcher hits the post. Not sure what the goalkeeper is doing. I know they tell keepers to stand up for as long as possible, but he just stood up all of the time. He didn't even make an attempt to dive. There's uh, there's more. Badak. There's Stewart. Back to Badak. Oh, he's hit the outside of the post. He's had a pretty good game in the middle of the park there. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to take you off. Right, Tompkins with the goal kick. Out towards Raymond, is cut out. We've headed it straight down, should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. It's poor from us. I would have liked to have rested more of our star players for the TNS game, but we have got some time to recover. Ball in behind, Hunt is in. Hunt should score. They've had a number of opportunities in this second half to get back in this. Our expected goals is 1.75. We've got five. Theirs is 1.2 and they've got zero. feel a little bit harsh. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. I feel like we've taken our foot off the gas in this second half. There's a ball out to Moore. Moore pulls it back to Fletcher. He's on a hat-trick. Moore out to O'Reilly. BT Fitzpatrick. There's Bedeck. There's Fletcher. Couldn't find the angle for the shot. There's Harrington. He's into the box. Pulls it back to Badak, or at least in the direction of Badak. Uh, Denham is there with the header, and Moore is going to keep that in. And find a pass back to Denham. There's Fletcher. I'd like to see him get two hat-tricks in two games. That would be nice. Here he's getting a long way out. Ball across. Raymond is in. Raymond scores. His first goal of the season, Fletcher with the assist, I think pretty much securing him man of the match. Uh, and uh, yeah, not not a bad little performance for us. Slightly disappointed that Stewart hasn't scored. But he's got a reasonable rating. Let's 
There's Fletcher. And there's still time for Stuart. There's more. Stuart's there. Stuart scored. I think he was on side as well. And that is seven nil. More with the ball in with his weaker foot. Stuart completely unmarked just beyond the penalty spot. We're going to get to see the offside. Well, no, not really. I don't know if that's us or them. I wish these lines measured up to the colours of the kits. Why wouldn't they do that? Well, there we go. Um, excellent win, boys. Well done. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a cut in here. Next up, we have a game against TNS, which is a big game. They are they are three points clear, I would imagine, now, based on uh, how this is going. Uh, I found it fascinating, Then there's plenty I can take away and learn from. Like We could score more goals. Let's just... Uh, Let's just have a little look at our schedule here. So we've got TNS, then we've got Met Uni, then we've got CSKA uh, coming up. So we'll we'll maybe play these two games on camera, and then we'll maybe just bring the Europa League games and any any big games that we may well we may well have um, the Europa Conference League games. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Uh And if you uh, if you want to check out YouTube memberships or Patreon. I encourage you to do it, but uh, obviously it's not required. Thank you so much. See you again soon.